You are looking at Regal's DS1102E oscilloscope, a very nice bench instrument. I'm going to demonstrate displaying uh, complex waveforms using the advanced trigger on this uh, really very affordable oscilloscope. The signals in question are going to be detected by this simple RF loop probe, just a coupler, straight into the input of a terminated DS1102 oscilloscope. So the source for the signals is uh, a standard brick type uh, power supply uh, and as you can see when I put the probe on, onto the power supply you can see there's a lot of noise being detected around that area of the power supply. Uh, the probe is very effective by the way at uh, detecting whereabouts the noisy edges are and the quiet edges so it's uh, quite a useful little demo. So noise so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind up the time base because I'd like to have a look at those noise pulses. And immediately you can see we've got a problem. Uh, each time a set of pulses appears, it appears in a slightly different position. There are lots of zero crossings and although it's a very good edge trigger, the oscilloscope is struggling to give us a display and the situation gets worse as you zoom in on the signal. I'd like to see a stable display of that signal and right now it's uh, not succeeding. So as you can see right now, the trigger mode is edge trigger. I'm going to change the trigger mode to slope, and I'm going to set a slope of 30 nanoseconds. Down here I can dial up to say the slope between these edges here is less than, is less than uh, 30 nanoseconds, so the rise time is very precisely controlled. Now, in this situation, I get a very reliable trigger, and in fact, if I wind up the volume a little bit, I can see exactly what's happening with that signal. So let's just uh, show you just how good that can be. That's a really very stable trigger now on that signal. You can investigate just one zero crossing. So I've tuned in the trigger simply to display just one zero crossing, which is this very fast central one. Uh, and it does that using the Regal DS1102E triggers slope mode using uh, rise time triggers. So that's just a little demonstration of how effective you can make the uh, trigger functions be. And it, once again, if I go back to the standard mode, uh, which is going to be edge mode, you'll see that uh, there really is not a hope of seeing what's going on. That trigger is really very unstable indeed. It's flickering around all over the place. The uh, trigger really doesn't know what to do. So that's the DS1102E and its trigger functions.